I love me. You're good. In the beginning, there were empty sidelines waiting to be filled. Barren convention centers missing the echoes of voices. Strands of ribbon waiting to be made into bows. Men and women with immense strength, spirit, and energy that they didn't know what to do with. White sneakers waiting to touch the spring mat. Gyms with the highest ceilings that no one was there to reach for. Pleated skirts had gone out of style and needed to be worn. Football teams' morales were at an all-time low. Girls, girls had impeccable balance, but no one cared about that. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll clear that up for you. Cheerleading, the pastime that people love to sit around and debate. Is it really a sport? I'll let you look at my sprained wrist, bruised knees, and calloused hands. You tell me. Cheerleading might have started out as a way to please a crowd. Give basketball and football players something to look at while they sit the bench. But that's not what we're there for. That's not what I'm there for. We put in hours upon hours of practice so that we look as sharp as our voices sound. And so that our flyers, the ones who fly up in the air, don't come crashing down to meet that heavy blue mat. And if they do, I'm sure that you'd laugh. I'm sure that you think we just didn't try hard enough or that we just don't care. Go ahead and laugh. My flyer will get right back up and be up by our next eight count. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Us. At the end of the day, who's there for us? cheering us on, each other. If you drop a ball, all you drop is a ball. I lift people, not weights. I love my bow and glitter as much as my athleticism. I haven't spent 16 years of my life working at something that doesn't matter. So the next time that you go to a sporting event or if you're adventurous, a competition, don't look at our skirts riding up. Don't focus on the one girl who started her jump an eighth of a count early. Look at our smiles, our muscles, our passion, and ask yourself if you've ever done something that you love and hate so much at the same time that you couldn't live without it. Maybe then you'll understand what we're there for, <coughs> why we do it, who we are. Ready? Okay. 